Right now, Wake County leaders are discussing whether to make masks or face coverings mandatory. And today, the Raleigh City Council plans to vote on the matter at a virtual meeting. CBS 17's Jamise Price is live with the effort to make masks mandatory. Jamise, we've gone back and forth on this one. That's right, Felicia. It's all an effort to slow the spread of COVID-19 as it is now. Wake County has the second highest number of COVID-19 cases in the state in Raleigh. Mayor Marianne Baldwin says she's concerned about what she's seeing when she's out at some of retailers. She said she's seen folks at the grocery store without a mask. She's also getting complaints from folks in the community about this very issue. Now, Durham and Orange counties have already moved to mandatory masks. Uh, North Carolina State University also announced it will require a mask in all of university buildings and programs. Baldwin says masks are critical in places where people cannot practice social distancing. We have to do something to protect um, those who are coming here. Raleigh is prepared to move forward with Wake County. Um, that would cover the incorporated area of Wake, unincorporated area of Wake County and then our city. Now, experts have said wearing a mask is just the best form of protection. It can protect me from you and you from me if you have COVID-19 and possibly don't know it. Now, Raleigh will vote on this matter at 1 o'clock today at their virtual council meeting in Raleigh. Jimmy's Price, CBS 17 News.